Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today as you can see there is a new update for Universe Sandbox 2 so it's added some new simulations in as we can see here there's also a little more um, if you want to get full details but if you want to read this you can pause it because I've already read it but there's bug fixes so I'm hoping that fixes our uh, frozen glitch because we know not, none of us like that so hopefully it fixes that but yeah there's also um some simulations we've got obviously the goblin is now in here but there's also a new dwarf planet that was found if you guys mentioned this in the discord earlier this week make sure to join that if you haven't as well but <laughs> yeah um, a new object called 2018 vg18 so it's the new most distant object in the solar system so yeah we're probably going to be making a custom one of those today but it looks like they've already got a simulation for us so we can just save that object and then customize it a bit um but so we have it all correct but yeah there's a new um few new simulations in there obviously there's a new voyager um simulation of where they are in 2019 obviously the goblin we've already got that in my own simulation so it's got smarter auto saves basically just bug fixes and re restored visuals to explosions that could be quite nice so i'm hoping i'm really hoping the frozen glitch is now fixed but yeah there is the update so let's check out these new simulations oh it looks like the logo that universe sandbox it doesn't say universe sandbox 2 anymore that's uh, that's pretty weird Alright, so here's our new simulations. Okay, so I guess we can look at the Voyager one quick. Why not? So, if it'll load, come on. Right, so Voyager 1 and 2. So if you want to pause that, read that as well. But I'm guessing, where, where are the Voyagers at? So there's Voyager 2. There, and then we have Voyager 1. So they are pretty much Sedna distance away now. I know they're not... Yeah, I'd say they're around... Sed well, where Sedna is right now, they're that sort of distance away. So, pretty cool stuff. I'll see nothing in them there. But so, yeah, they are getting pretty far away. Yeah, so... Yeah, the fastest things man have ever, have ever made there. So they are pretty cool. All right. Um, next up, we've got the goblin in here. So let's uh, load that up. So there's um, there it is there. So it's all it looks slightly different to the one I have in mind. So yeah, there it is there. What the heck is that? What, what orbit is that? Is that that weird object? What is that massive orbit for? Um, Oh, this thing here. I've never seen that before. Is this, uh, it says... um. I just mentioned about Planet Nine there, but maybe not the one we know, the gas giant one. But okay, so yeah, you got that there. So the Goblin is in here, which is the, the, where, where there it is. So yeah, they got a simulation for that. Look at it compared to Sedna though, that's crazy. All right, and then also going to the new most distant objects. I believe the Goblin was supposed to be. Now there's another one. So there it is there. So what orbit has this got? So oh, that's not so bad then. That orbit's. Um, I thought it would be bigger. I mean, compared to Sedna. That is um, not as bad as Sedna's orbit, I guess. But um, yeah, there it is there. So um, yeah, 17th of December. So that's very recent. So it's um, the discovery of the most distant object, trans-Neptunian object. Yep, that's right. So there it is. So it's na nicknamed Far Out as well. I guess we can name our one that. The object is currently positioned at a distance roughly 120 AU, twice the distance of Eris. That is pretty crazy from the previous record hoarder. Okay. Um, Appears to be roughly 500, so that's bigger than the Goblin, and it is potentially a dwarf planet. Okay, so... Okay, that's cool. Right, so yeah, there it is there. This thing is tiny. Wait, hang on, wait. Didn't they say it was 500? Is there something wrong with this? Wait. It says 250 kilometers, but it says 500 in diameter. Oh, okay, diameter, not radius. Okay, so we're going to have to somehow make this larger so we can actually customize it a bit. But yeah, 500 kilometers there. Right, so yeah, it's 250 in radius. So obviously 250 is half of 500. So that gives us, or gives us that. So that thing is tiny. So we're going to have to somehow make this thing bigger. So I'll, I'll save that as that for now. All right, so then I will take a picture quickly on my phone of all these orbital stats so we can add it into my custom simulation because, um, yeah, this simulation is boring. We want it in the custom one with all the customized objects. So there we go. So I've got a picture of that. So now if I go to my custom simulation, um, simulation we are going to add this new um, dwarf planet in. So there we go. I can always add it, upgrade it down the line because this does need an update, this system. Actually, I've got some really new objects added. I think I'll do one more update for this before the end of the year after this video. So there's my goblin. Right, so now we need to add this new guy in. So, we need to get a custom trail colour for it. Well, since apparently it's a light pink sort of colour, we definitely need to get a pink trail, because we don't have a pink uh, one in here. So, right, so 2018. So, there it is there. So, we'll just throw it um, there for now. Click play, so it's in. All right, cool. Right, so now we can start um, putting the stats in for it. Oh, and it's actually got smaller as well. Look, 123. Um, I guess we can try and just make it bigger to begin with. So, it's, so we need it at 250. So I guess, I mean, the mass doesn't really matter. We don't even know how much mass it has. So I'm going to use the lock feature, lock the mass, and then we're going to put it to 250. And there you go. So that's fine. 
So then we'll have to actually save and reopen this as well because we can't access the color options right now. But yeah, there we go. So we've got that. All right, so now let's add in the orbital stats for it. All right, so yeah, we definitely need to uh, play around with this. So let me just um, get this up. All right, so so it's 934 years. So 934, like that. There we go. Right, so then with these options, we want 95.6. We've got that. The parameter, that's 21.8. So like that. There we go. Looking good. All right, um, apocenter distance is 169. It's already got that. Okay, eccentric, 0. 772 done all right so now this is inclination is 31.7 so enter that in 31.7 right then the um, this one here 33.1 like that longitude 247 and then the anomaly well that doesn't really matter but we'll put it at one five four like it is in the other one so there we go so that is now exactly the same as what it was in the other simulation so now we'll go ahead and quickly save this so there we go all right save that all right now if we reopen it we can customize the colors hopefully so open it up i entered those um, numbers in pretty quick i'm quite good with that now all right so right we've yeah we, re we, we yeah we do open it all right so there we go so now we'll go 250 kilometers and now we can customize it so that is what we want to do. Does he even get any sunlight from here? Let's go on um, realistic. No, no sunlight at all. Actually, um, okay, there, there we are. So we'll leave it on flashlight for now. All right, so looking at the concept art here on Google Images, because all of the images show a light pinkish white object. So that is what we'll be using for the template. If you guys want to... Um, see the art i'm looking at literally just searched uh, 2018 vg18 in and you will um see this image so uh, also we'll also nickname it far out as well just um like we did with the goblin we put the goblin in brackets actually no we'll call it no we'll call it far out and then put then the actual name in brackets there we go cool so there we are entered that in so i'll save that um, just to start off with all right cool so yeah this has a very very light pink sort of color so right so for the mid elevation let's see what it looks like on mid so it'd be a very very light pink so something like this that is way too way too much pink so we need a really really light sort of something like that is what i'm i'm thinking of so yeah looking at that picture that that looks pretty um pretty good so yeah, that's all white the pink does stand out a bit too much to my liking so we're definitely gonna have to do something like that so it's a very very light a very very whitish pink object there's not really too many um colors this really needs so i'll also make it a gas giant to make it into a better looking sort of pink i guess so keep doing that i really don't care about the options because i'm pretty sure none of these are accurate in the first place so there we go Nah, i'm not liking that it's gotta look gotta look perfect nah definitely not that nah i'm not a fan of that template so there we go just to keep switching it to get like, one i like is this the one I started off with? I mean, maybe that is the best one then. Okay, okay, I'll roll with that. The picture on the top looks quite cool, actually. So, if I do that a bit... Nah, that, see, that looks too much pink. That is way too much pink. So, I'll go with that. Then we'll go with a sort of more greyish one. I mean, hmm, that does look pretty nice. With her. See, that just makes it look darker. I mean... What do you guys think of that? Let me, you can let me know what you think below in the comments as well. Like like I said, um, if you um, think I should change it anyway, um, just let me know because we can um, definitely have that arranged. I'm thinking something like that looks pretty good actually. I mean, look how light the pink is. I mean, I guess in a very pale pink would look because obviously it can't be too pink. I mean, I don't think many planets would be pink in real life anyway. So it's got to be a very, very light tint of pink. So compared to the Google images, that is looking pretty good. If I give it a slight more... Yeah, that, that looks better. So, looking good. So, I'll go ahead and save that. Because I like the way that looks. Okay, yeah. I, I'm liking that. So, now let's move it closer to the... So, let's move it closer to the sun as well. I want to see if it gets sunlight at its closest point. I think it will. If we pull it to its closest, its closest point... That's the furthest. So, the closest point is around here. Oh, that's literally inside... Oh, yeah, it's inside Neptune's orbit. Well, yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, this would definitely, this would definitely get sunlight at some point so if we uh, go on realistic yeah it does hey it does get a bit of sunlight when it's closer all right cool so that's far out all right looking good so now we've got that but yeah if, um, so we can see it a little more we will definitely pull it out actually i'll definitely have to um 
I'll we'll definitely have to um, get a different color trail for this. We'll definitely have to get a light pink trail. So I'm not actually sure how to mod that myself because I can mod a bit, but you know, I don't actually know how to change the color trail yet. So I definitely have to learn that at some point. So I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it there. There it goes, just so we can see it a bit. Let's put it near Sedna's. Good old red Sedna's orbit there. All right, perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it around there. I think it looks... Yeah, I'll leave it there. Why not? So there, yeah, we got Far Out. We got the Goblin. We got Old Planet Nine in there. I mean, even though it doesn't, even though it may not exist, it's nice to have it in here anyway. It doesn't cause any problems. So we got that one there. Then we got the Goblin out here. So yeah, now we got two like new customized dwarf planets. We got this one, and then we have Far Out there. So yeah, two um, new objects in here. So now I will go ahead and save the simulation as well. So I've got it in here. So yeah, we'll just go around the sun. Looking good. So let's go ahead and go for a save. All right, we'll just call it that. Can we refresh the picture? There we go, Alex Bella. So, voila, perfect. All right, so now we go, system updated. So yeah, there is my new far out object. So yeah, what do you guys think of this? Let me know um, down below in the comments. Cause yeah, it, was, it always is quite fun to like remake all these dwarf planets off the concept art. But I think that looks pretty accurate to what is seen on Google. I mean, the Google image literally just shows a very pinkish ball. There's not really much features on it other than the color pink really, so. I mean, off definitely compared to the concept art, it does look um, pretty accurate. I mean, there's not really much um, to go off for the concept art, but it's mostly just a white and pink object. So, yeah, I think that um, does look pretty good. I mean, we, maybe we could make it a little brighter. Oh, I can't even access the options anymore, but let's just go ahead and save it again. Maybe I'll actually let's do a final tweak of it. I think maybe just a slight tad different may look a little better. So, okay, there we go. So we are here. Right, so there we are. So I want to access these options. I mean, make that a little lighter. There we go. And the high elevation is already on the white. All right, so that is looking good. What if I swap these colors? So if I make that as the pink instead and then make this the white. Oh, no, it definitely looks better than what it was before. There we go. That definitely looks better. So just a quick undo, fix all that up. So yeah, low elevation. Then we've got middle elevation of that with the uh, pink there. So, yeah, just just a tad bit. We do not want too much at all. So, I mean, if we went full out, that looks silly. So, yeah, we'd have to have um, a very, very more realistic sort of look to it. So, there we go. Yeah, that's looking really good. I like that. So, yeah, a little dark. We don't want it too bright. But, yeah, I am I like that. Yeah, so I'll save that again. Looks pretty much the same, but just a slight tad. All right, there we go. So, far out is complete. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you thought um, down below of my little custom version. And obviously, if you want to compare it to the concept art, definitely um, search it up because you'll easily be able to find it if you just search 2018 VG18 there. So, yeah, let me know um, your thoughts on that as well. And, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this short little video. If you want me to check out those other new simulations in any more detail, then let me know because I could do a video on those as well. Also, if anyone's um, make creating objects at the moment, let me know if the frozen glitch is fixed or not, because we know, yeah, I really hope that's fixed. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if that's been fixed or not. But um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, make sure you like the video as well. Let's see if we can go for 50 likes on this as well, guys. Also subscribe if you're new, helps on the journey to 6,000 subscribers, as we are still getting really, really close to that. So a massive thanks to everyone who has recently um, subscribed and, and also joined my Discord server. So a few new people have joined that as well. Links in the description if you want to join that. But yeah, there we go. So hopefully you guys all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.